Okay, friends. This is the job we were at yesterday. You guys haven't seen this job yet. <clears throat> I think I tried to show you something. It's this patch of timber in here. It's a little shed. And the house is here. But it was really, really tight quarters. <laughs> like, really tight. The house is here. And he's got a pump house right there. And a tree. A beautiful tree. We give it a little couple little haircuts there. But nothing major. But it was... It was tight, like I was up in here. You can see it all here, right? And, and it all had to come through and we were saved out this little arbutus. We actually saved out this little arbutus right in the middle of all the timber. Like there was certain things he wanted done. Then it all had to come down between this and this. But the targets are interesting because that's a pump house and it's not like they're side by side like this. It's like the targets are like that. So it makes it, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, yeah, so it was a tight squeeze. I mean, there, there it all is. So it come from up here, and he's only got a teeny little saw. We came really close to this this uh, pump house once, which I wasn't too happy about at all, actually, because of, uh, I'll explain that to you later. We came really close, like, like really close, like within a foot. It came through there, and I slid it right down here across the pond. It came out really nice over here, because it was under, the pond was kind of in a dip, so it worked out really nice. But still, it was too close, and it was it drifted, and I'll show you why after. But he doesn't have a big enough saw to get this handled at all. I says I'm going to come out and buck some wood, and he's like, "Oh, would you?" <laughs> so yeah, of course I would. So I mean, look at the bucking. This will be annihilated in no time. And I brought some special saws, friends. I brought the huskies, the the the, the vintage wall of huskies. But I just brought a 266 and a 268, which you guys haven't seen run, I don't think yet. So, but this was the job. Here's this one that, and look at the stump. Like, look at the stump on the one that just about, like, came really close to the, it, it's a beauty stump, but what it was, look at where it ended up. Like, it, it drifted. It was a really interesting situation because here it is. Okay, here's the, here's the stump right here. There it is. And, and believe it or not, friends, that if you just, I know it's difficult to see on here. Like, like, I, I understand it is, but look where I get to right away. Like it, it, it drifted. So anyways, regardless, uh, it's all good. Everything is good, but I'm going to buck some of this for him. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with the iPhone. This is all iPhone now, but let's fire up and, and, and do this and let's see how this goes. Maybe I'll buck on the, uh, let's see here if we can get you guys set up pretty good here. Maybe get a little, little bucking show going on here. Bucking with bucking, bucking with bucking. Let's try this. What does this look like friends? Let's see this go down. See if we can start one of these things. Let's try the 268 first. No, let's not. Let's go 266. And the chains are brutal. Look at the chain on this thing. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. It's terrible. Can you guys hear? I'll see if I'll look and see. Yeah, it's not pretty. <laughs> There's really nothing left. But these saws are they're pretty good. I haven't fired this saw in a while. You guys know the last time it fired. Oh dear. This is a great old saw. This thing is beautiful. Got a lot of hours on it. Oh yeah.
really nice. I'm gonna put you guys here. Nice friends. Okay, I'm gonna turn you off for a sec. 